Hey everyone, Nick Grio, Grio's Garage, and today we're going to talk about our 6 inch random orbital and how you can modify and adapt it to become more aggressive and grow with your increasing skill set. There are two ways to increase the aggression of the machine right off the bat. First is changing the backing plate, whether it be a smaller size or a higher performance backing plate that we offer, or you can also vary the thickness of your pads. Now the pads still need to correspond with the correct size backing plate, however a thinner pad will transfer more energy to the paint, equating to a more aggressive process. So stock configuration right out of the box for our 6 inch random orbital comes with a 6 inch ventilated backing plate. This can accommodate our 6.5 inch pads in both the 1 inch thick iteration and the 5 eighths inch boss iteration. Now with these pads you're going to get great surface area and the thicker pad is going to give you more conformability, a little less energy transfer and it's a great place to start when you're just learning how to use the machine. However, if you like the coverage of that 6 inch plate and you want a more aggressive result, get a thinner pad set up. If you still want to go more extreme than that, we can walk you down the size of the backing plates. Now we do have an upgraded 6 inch backing plate that has more ventilation, so if you incorporate a more intense process and a thinner pad setup, a better ventilated backing plate will help draw down the temperature of that pad and extend your pad life. After that, we can go to a 5 inch backing plate. Now these all adapt the exact same way. You have a very thin wrench that comes with your 6 inch machine out of the box and you simply affix it to the counterbalance in the machine and spin the backing plate off. Now this 5 inch pad is going to have the same ventilation standards as our high performance 6 inch backing plates and it will accommodate both the 5 inch boss pads and 1 inch thick pads. Now once again you're going to have the same aggression level with regards to the thickness of the pads however the smaller footprint of a 5 inch backing plate as opposed to a 6 inch backing plate is going to result in more aggressive and better performance. Now it's not going to be incredibly dangerous by any means however you are going to get better performance and you're also going to get a little bit more maneuverability since the only thing you've changed is really the footprint or surface contact of that smaller backing plate. Lastly, we have a 3 inch backing plate. Now this thing is unique because it is weighted the exact same as our two larger backing plates. So that doesn't equate to any more vibration than you're going to get from the machine. But with that incredibly small diameter and surface area, you're going to have a very aggressive result from the power source of this 6 inch machine. Once again, it can accommodate the full gamut of those smaller pads. We have a 4 inch 1 inch thick pad, a 3 inch 1 inch thick pad, and our boss line of 3 inch 5 8 inch pads. Now any combination of these on a 3 inch backing plate and this powerful 6 inch random orbital is going to get you an incredibly aggressive result and also get you a very tight footprint to do hard to correct tight spaces on your car with a very powerful motor behind it. Once again, all of these things are up to your discretion. None of them are going to be so aggressive that an introductory user couldn't gradually work their way up. And if you've already invested in the machine and you're seeking a more professional result, all you've really got to do is either change your pads or your backing plates. Thank you for watching. For more information on our 6 inch random orbital and our entire lineup of pads and backing plates that can accommodate and work with this machine, be sure to visit griosgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.